Well, hey guys, this is Grace of GB Maltese, and I thought I would do a little kit up video on my next diamond painting. Isn't this gorgeous? This is Hummingbird Garden by Diamond Art Club. So I want to explain some things to you, but before I do that, I hope you're doing finer and frogs hair today, and all is well with you. I'm going to do this kit for a special event that is happening on the Facebook page, Facebook group, um, DP Pen Obsession. So, I have a good friend that's on that group who is holding a special event starting March 1st through April the 8th, I believe. You can go on the page and find out. I'll put a link to that Facebook group down below this video. Just click to the show more or the description. And I'll put a link there. And I'll put um, the one holding the event is Robin Ayala. And I'll write her name down in case you aren't able to spell it from the way I'm pronouncing. So she is, uh, she's got some cool prizes, guy, guys guys and gals, whatever, and the only thing that you have to have in your picture, somewhere in your picture, you have to have either flower or flowers, or a butterfly, or butterflies. You don't have to have both, but you have to have at least one of those. A flower somewhere in the picture, or a butterfly somewhere in the picture. And this one has both, and I am excited to do this painting. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. And I thought I'd show you how I kit this out. I'm just going to start out showing it to you. Oh, um, as I said, <clears throat> Robin has some fabulous prizes. Several different things that she'll be coming up with. And she has a place where you need to upload your picture. Uh... It needs to be a canvas that you've just started on as of March the 1st. So, if you've got one halfway done, no, <laughs> that's not fair. And she did say you do not have to get it finished. If you're doing something like 100 centimeters by 90 centimeters, yeah, there's a good chance you may not finish in that length of time. So, if you got any other questions, just put them down below and I'll try to answer it. I'll ask Robin or Robin maybe she'll look at this and she can answer that for you. But I want to show you my very favorite uh, bead storage container. This is the Elizabeth Ward 45 piece bead storage. Now this one I'm going to need more because this has 57 colors and there are like 42 or 43 of these. And what I like about this is it comes in many different sizes. And I've taken all of them out of here, and I'll show you why. Okay, with Diamond Art Club, your pieces, your drills come in strips. So I'm going to cut this off. But you also get these handy-dandy stickers to place on these. Now, as I look at this, I decide which one of these... I think that they're going to fit in. I think that this package might fit in this one. So, I'm just going to pop that open. Cut this. Okay, this is number 938. I'm going to keep that so I can find it over here. Now, I'm going to pour this in here and we'll see. Oh, yeah. That fit in there perfectly. So, now what I want to do is find 9. 938, I think it was. 938. And they're in alphabetical order here. And 938 is this one. So I'm going to pull it off and stick it to my kit. To my, um, because this is going to lay down flat so I can see it very easily. Now I'm going to get all of these labeled and then I'll put them in order by numbers. I go ahead and do these by sizes because I can put these in here in any order I want. And that way I am using the size that I think I need. Okay, this one. Okay, 
I think this one is going to go in that same size. And this is number 3609. So we'll find out. <clears throat> Let's clip that on off. All right, have, are any of you out there doing this event? I know there are other events going on, but you can double dip into different ones. I don't know what else, else is going on, but I know I'm doing this one. I can't wait to start this hummingbird garden. Okay, 3609. Okay, here we are. I want to peel that off. They come off very easily. Okay, 3609. And I'm going to place it on there. And as you can see, that's number 45. So, when I get ready to put them in place, all I have to do is in numerical order. And then the next one I have is 3608. Looks like it's going to go in that same size. Okay, so as you can see, this is so easy to do this. Let me <laughs> pick them up. I like that this opens up nice and wide. You can get them in there, unless you're fumble fingers like me. And I just did it right over the tray. No problem. Okay, I leave this piece of paper out until I have it in there so I can remember what the number was and find it on my stickers. Okay. And that was 3608. So 3608 is right here. So let's put that one there. The next one I have has ABs in it. Nope. But I'm going to go ahead and get the one that has ABs in it. Because I want to see them. Let's show them to you. This is number 141. Aren't those beautiful? Okay. I'm not sure if it'll go in this smallest one. I don't think so. I have some more that um, don't have as many. But you know what? I could try it and see. Let's live a little, huh? Because if it doesn't fit, all I have to do is grab another one. Okay, let's pour those in there. Huh? Looks like they might. Yep. Yep, that's going to fit. These hold more than you think. So there we go. Aren't they pretty? Oh, look at those. And this was number 141. So let's find sticker 141. It's going to be up here. I do have some more ABs. They're in here somewhere. Okay, and that is number four, as you can see. That's number four. It's in the pink. Tells you what number it is. Okay, stick on there. Because that's a little bit skinnier right there. Okay. And I'm just going to go through and do all of those like this. I'll do one more. These have the most gorgeous colors. And when I get them in here, you'll be able to see it. But I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I'll kit it up, as I said. I will need to do probably two trays. Okay, I think this is going to fit in this, this little one. We'll see. As I said, you just never know till you try it. So let's do this pretty purple. Does anyone else have this beautiful kit? With the, humming, the Hummingbird Garden from Diamond Art Club. 
I when I saw this one, I did a, an unboxing of it, and I had several people tell me that they loved it. So I'm anxious to see how it's going to come out when it's finished. I think it's going to be gorgeous. These colors are beautiful. Look at that. Okay, that was number 340. So 340 is over here. So I'm just going to pull that off and put it right here. I'm going to put it to the side a little bit because this is kind of narrow on these small ones. It's kind of narrow between here and here, so that way it'll stick easier. And I'll put that down there. So I'll come back and I'll let you see how gorgeous all these colors look. Be back in just a little bit. Okay, I have everything kitted up now. Look at those gorgeous colors. And as you can see, I cut the lettering out um, hummingbird garden so that when I look at this kit I know that that is the diamond painting it goes with and then I had to put some in this one also the colors are just beautiful I don't know if you noticed this before but on each one of the stickers it has number 20 and then it has the symbol and then it also has the DMC code so everything that you need is on the sticker so as I'm diamond painting if I see a symbol I can quickly look up and see what number it is and find it I put them in alpha in, in numerical order one two three and so on so it'll be very easy to find so if you want to join me in this fun little Oh, I guess collab that Robin is doing go check it out on their Facebook page as I said I'll put a link below um, I'll also put a link to the unboxing I did for this hummingbird garden it is just a gorgeous canvas and the colors on here are just beautiful but again the Elizabeth Ward storage kit is my favorite because I can put some of these had two and three bags of colors and these big ones held them I like having the different ones in here and I got this off of Amazon um, I don't I'm not sure where else you might can find it <coughs> um, I think Walmart.com might have it but I'll put the link to Amazon. That's where I got mine. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, if you have any questions, please put them down below. But again, isn't that gorgeous? Oh, the colors are just beautiful. I'm looking forward to starting this kit. And I hope you'll join me. I'll do some whipping chats as I work on it. And you guys take care. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day, morning, evening, whatever it is. God bless you. Love you guys. Bye. Talk to you soon.